My daughter, Curie has DLPLA, a disease that causes atrophy of the brain. It is hereditary and progressive. There is no cure. Curie is bedridden. My husband, Chiaki, passed away five years ago from this disease. I wrote Ohana, family, in hopes of finding a cure. I pray. That I can save my daughter. Chapter 2 Chiaki fell sick. Today, Chiaki, not Kuri, got sick. After 4 a.m., he started not feeling well and curled beside his bed. This time, he asked me to call 911. He said, My chest hurts too and I became nervous. But I couldn't leave Kuri alone, who had suffered an epileptic attack the day before yesterday. It was just before 5 in the morning, and I called my friend to take care of Kuri. I was so nervous that I think my voice was muffled. I called several people, but no one could come. It was still dark outside. Chiaki was curling, holding his chest. I went outside and knocked on the doors of our neighbors' houses. All of the houses had bedroom on the second floor. So I shouted loudly, but no one noticed. If I screamed louder, maybe someone would wake up. But. My voice became cheerful and I couldn't scream loud enough. I was also worried about Chiaki, whom I had left at home. His word, my heart hurt, made me panic. Crying, I returned home, called Dr. T, the cardiologist, and told him about his condition. Chiaki also talked to him directly, and perhaps relieved by that, he started to say, My chest hurts too, but it seems like a normal headache. That's good. I was really glad. When I looked down, my own legs were shaking and shaking. At 6.3 a.m., I found someone to come over, asked her to see Kuri, and rolled Chiaki into the car and drive to urgent care. After an EKG and blood test, he was put on an IV because he was nauseous and wouldn't stop. His heart seems to be okay, even though he has been in bed all day. But, unfortunately, both of them seem to have taken the next step in their illness. I still don't know if Kuri will be able to work on her own. I regret so much because I had been behaving coldly toward Chiaki after Kuri went into emergency. And I wondered if that had led to his attack this time. I think to myself, if I regret it, I should not have behaved that way from the beginning. From now on, I definitely have to tell myself that no matter what Chiaki said to me or how unreasonable Kuri's attitude is, it can't be helped because this is a disease. I'm tired this time, because within three days, two of them were in a state to call an ambulance. But now, they are both back, and I am grateful for that. Thank you so much.